Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about definite integral using partial fractions. So, I will share my computer screen with you. This calculate the definite integral. The limits of integration are from zero to two, and we have to integrate three divided by four x squared plus five x plus one dx. Okay, so solution. Solution. Four x squared plus five x plus one as can be factored as. 4x squared plus 4x plus x. So I'm splitting 5x into 4x plus x plus 1. From the first two terms, I take 4x common. And inside, I get x plus 1 inside the parentheses. From the last two terms, I take 1 as a common factor. x plus 1 is left. So this can be simplified as 4x plus 1 multiplication of two factors and x plus 1. Okay, hence 3 original problem which is 3 over 4x squared plus 5x plus 1 expression can be written as 3 divided by 4x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1, which can be further written as a times 4 divided by 4x plus 1 plus b times x plus 1. Or, okay, Taking out the denominator, or we can have 3 by 4x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 in the denominator is equal to a times x plus 1, a times x plus 1, plus b times 4x plus 1, and whole thing divided by, in the denominator, 4x plus 1 times x plus 1. So the denominators in the both sides are equal. So we can write three denominators being same on left-hand side of the equal to sign and the right-hand side. They cancel out and we can write 3 is equal to a times x plus 1 plus b times 4x plus 1. Okay. So when x is equal to minus 1, when x is equal to minus 1, we have 3 equal to b times 4 times minus 1 plus 1. And when x is equal to minus 1, a times minus 1 plus 1 is 0. a times 0 is 0. So the term containing a disappears. And we are left with 3 is equal to b times minus 4 plus 1, which is 1 minus 4. So 3 is equal to minus 3b. OK? so divide by 3 on both sides, we will get leads to 1 equal to minus b or b is equal to minus 1. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, Take the case of, uh, so I'll create some space. So this is important. B is minus 1. Now, 
Let me create some space. Okay. When X when X is equal to minus one fourth, what do we have? Three is equal to A times minus one fourth plus one plus B times four times minus one fourth plus one. So basically the term containing B disappears because four times minus one fourth is minus one plus one factor of B is zero. So B disappears. So three is equal to A one minus one fourth is three by four. Okay. So this will lead to uh, one is equal to a by four or a is equal to four. So the original problem can be broken up into parts now. So we have integration from zero to two three over 4x square plus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 to 2. For a, I write 4 over 4x plus 1 plus, I mean, dx plus the integration from 0 to 2. For b, I write minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Okay. And that can be written as... Uh, so I do the integration. So it will be integration 4 divided by 4x plus 1 is ln. Absolute value of 4x plus 1 minus ln. absolute value of x plus 1. And the limits of integration are from 0 to 2. Okay. So if I plug in the value of x equal to 2, I get the upper limit ln of 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay minus ln of 1 is 0, okay, minus ln of 1, minus ln, I plug in 2, so ln of th 2 plus 1 is 3, and then you have minus minus plus ln of 1, okay. So basically I have equal to equal to ln9 minus ln3. So basically this can be written as ln3 square minus ln3 or by using the exponent rule of logarithm, the exponent 2 comes in the front. 2 ln 3 minus ln 3. And that is equal to ln 3. So that's your final answer. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comments, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. 
I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.